Hello, YouTubers. This is Johnny. Welcome back to last channel. Um, in my previous video and the post, I mentioned the uh, RC's log setup. So how we can set up RC's log as a client, as a server. Um, so this is the previous one. Today, I'm going to continue to use RC's log to forward in the logs from local Unix, Linux server to a remotely logly cloud service. Logly is uh, Solarwinds online log service. Um, it is a free version. You can upgrade to paid version, but the free version usually is enough for a simple Linux server logs collection. So here is a log in the uh, dashboard. You will see nothing here since we didn't forward anything here yet. Um, what do you need to do? You need to start into sending, set up the source, and then sending the logs to there. So you can click the source setup here. There's a couple of options. You can do Linux system log. You can do Linux with fire logging. Monitoring. So we can do Linux test log first. Let me do the file login. What we can do here is just based on following those configuration steps, copy them. Um, paste them here. You will ask your logly password. They know your username, you just need to set up the password. This is just one time thing. One time entered, they will configure your RCS log configuration files and then it will keep running. This probably take um, one to two minutes to get it done. <clears throat> It's restarting, so it's almost done, completed. It's very simple and easy. From now on, your Linux system logs will be forwarded into the logly. So we can pass the logger. Hello world. So we just sending a log to there. Uh, in a couple of minutes, we should be able to receive it from dashboard, from logly. Actually, we are already receiving the logs right now. So let's search. Hello. It's not there yet, but we do see some logs. This and logs notice uh, this log D. So it's matching the name of the my Linux server name. You can see here. Software version. So it's it's in there. So the log's gonna be forwarding to the log glee. You can search now hello world is shows up. So we did hello world. And probably we need to wait one more minute and then it will show here. This will give you all system logs. You can do more actually. You can do like uh, monitoring Linux files. You can, here is a file monitoring, which I want to show you. Um, if you go to your log folder, you will see all kinds of um, logs you have, well, for example, you have Nginx logs. You may want to monitor the Nginx logs from error access, those two type. You can use this configuration, just put the file name and the alias. So 
Actually, you can just monitor the whole logs. Let me show you this part. My name. So you can put the folder here. We are log and think. So then you're going to monitor in the whole folder, ending folder, both files, access and error logs. Okay. Your logly password. They can pass in the whole folder and asking, would you like to configure all the files? Yes, of course. So they found out all the files they can do, they find the configuration file R6 at the etc r6log.d, there's all the configuration files. So, and then they're trying to monitoring. Arrow.log file is monitoring, 991 bytes, 991 bytes, and the access log is 4K, 4,000 bytes. But for other configuration files, they just, don't have like read from my machine. So they just uh, stopped processing them. So, and then they are, the last step is asking the clone job to sync the files to Logly every 10 minutes. Yes, we want to monitor that. 10 minutes is decent. Fine. Okay, now the setup has been configured. So now we should have some access log or error log from Nginx. Let's take a look. Hello, logs, nothing. So we wanna see if we can see those logs in, uh, in our system or not. So we can search. The domain name through this uh, console, through this dashboard console, find out if there's any logs relating to this domain and access logs. Not coming yet. It says 200, 200. Code, code. It's probably still monitoring and processing. The eventually, the logs gonna show in the dashboard of the log. So that's the video for today. Um, I think. Uh, it, this website is helpful when you need to process in your logs. You can send it to the cloud, following cloud service logly, and you can search it, pass it, and then export it with all kinds of chart. Um, hopefully, you'll like it. Thank you for watching.